boys and girls, it's Miss Carol, and I'm going to be going over your lesson this week. We are on week 14, and our lesson is Jesus is the Son of God. Our scripture passage is from Luke 1, 26 through 38. So let's begin. Today, we prepare for Christmas. Every Christmas, at some point or another, we read from the first two chapters of the book called the Gospel of Luke in our Bibles. We do this because the first two chapters in Luke record for us everything leading up to the moment Jesus is born. We learn that a cousin of Jesus's, John the Baptist, is born just a little bit before Jesus. And Mary, Jesus's mom, is related to John's mom, Elizabeth. We also learn that Jesus's earthly father, Joseph, was really nervous to become a dad. God had spoken to Joseph, telling him that he was going to be the earthly father to the baby who would grow to become the savior of the world. Joseph wasn't sure he was up to the challenge. We hear about how God told the angels and the shepherds all about the baby born in Bethlehem that would be the king of all kings and the Lord of all lords. So we're going to read now from Luke 1, 28 to 33, and we will learn this about Jesus, the newborn king. During Elizabeth's sixth month of pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to a virgin who lived in Nazareth, a town in Galilee. She was engaged to marry a man named Joseph from the family of David, and her name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Greetings, the Lord has blessed you and is with you. Oh, but Mary was very confused by what the angel said, and, and Mary wondered, What does this mean? The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary, because God is pleased with you. Listen, you will become pregnant, you will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and people will call him the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his ancestor. He will rule over the people of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Did you notice what the angel said about Jesus? He will be great. People will call him the son of the most high God. And there it is. Jesus is the son of God. When we speak about our faith, we often talk about God being triune. That's a difficult word to understand. But it simply just means that we believe that God is made up of three persons. God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. Yes, they are all three God. Yet at the same time, they are all three different from one another. God the Father has always been in heaven and always will be. Jesus came to earth as a baby and grew up to be a man. He died on the cross to save us from our sins. And the Holy Spirit, well, he's kind of like the wind. We can't really see him, but we are sure we can feel his presence right beside us. Jesus is different from the other two persons of God. Jesus was God, but he was also human. In fact, the Apostle John said that he was God made man. In other words, he was still very much God, but he became a human so that we could know him, understand him, love him, and of course, so that he could die to save us from our sins. Don't ever let anyone try to tell you otherwise. Jesus is not just another important person in history. He is not just a good teacher, and he is not just a kind person. Jesus is the very Son of God. He is God. 
So everyone, I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas and I hope that you will read from the Bible all about Jesus' birth. And I hope that you are with your family and that you enjoy the holiday. And probably the next time I talk to you, it's going to be 2021 and we'll be in a new year. And I pray that next year, very soon, we will all be together again. So everyone have a merry, merry Christmas and blessings to you all. Take care. Merry Christmas.